what is up guys it's Mike to my Moyer and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to part 3 of the Jokinar episode this particular episode we're gonna go to the bandage camp and uh, infiltrate them and uh, let's see if we can manage to at least get as close as possible towards the claw of Belear Uh, I think I've found something. I require doing uh, quite, quite a couple of quests in order to infiltrate the ranks, get access to the, you know, swamp camp, get access to the mine, and then get access to the radar. But... Nothing to be had there. It will not take more than two more parts. With this one, one more afterwards, I think, in order to get Jark and Dark done. And then we're another step closer to uh, beat Gothic 2 on the final path. Still got a long way to go though. Nothing to be had there. Murky mushrooms. Yeah. I will first explore this entire area, you know, get the XP that I can get. Get the materials that I can get for either Minecrawler armor or a mere gold purposes. Not that I need gold really, well. Watch because uh, I can't see shit.
Now, I must admit that uh, playing this game for uh, the third time at least, but uh, you know, let's say just the third time is a relatively extraordinary exhausting, if you will. But uh, that will all change once this is finished and we go to Gothic 3, which is where it gets a bit more interesting, you know. It's not that the game, you know, is bad, it's just the bugs are so overwhelmingly annoying every single time. But once this path is done, it's done. At least until the hardcore run will be unlocked, but that is a live stream only. Because it wouldn't be a hardcore run if it weren't going to be a live stream for audacity, or how do you say it? Legitimately, you know, legitimacy, whatever. And then once the third run of Gothic 3 is done, well, then I have no choice but to go to the Second God. And let me tell you, my friends, I am really not looking forward to play the Second God, honestly. Because, you know, one, it's not that large, two, it's the missing part of the Gothic 3 game itself. And it's just, you know, crappy. Could have been worse though, but still. Once Forsaken Gods has beat it, then I have to go to Gothic 4, which will be another one of those, uh, tramples, you know. Because, uh, Gothic 4 is not that great either. But I will still play them, record them, beat them on all paths, just for the sake of the Gothic series. <laughs> some point you know I can no longer avoid it but uh, for the time being I'm avoiding it like a boss nothing there
But before I will go into the bandit camp, I'm gonna first go to uh, the water mages. Find William Scorps, uh, talk with, uh, well, also find Lance's corpse, and then deliver those quests to uh, our good friend, the water mages. And then also uh, get the semi last teleporter stone activated. Ah, uh, well, what was I looking for? Alright, bandit armor. already wondering why I didn't have the key with my playthrough of Venus, but uh, this would certainly, you know, explain Nothing it. to be had there. Because I don't think I killed the uh, swamps here. Not entirely sure though, but uh, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's for uh, the recipe lose double, double hammer. <laughs> Not at all, guys. Not at all. Tiny little bit of power, perhaps. That's what he's uh, supposed to be, you know. If he truly is the chosen one, then he has to be overpowered. Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense. On the how the hell he could defeat a demon. An ancient being, thousands of years old, aka the sleeper. And then right afterwards, the undead dragon. Uh, I think I've found something. After losing his escape abilities, all his loot, all his weapons and armor, you know, so he has to be overpowered, guys. That's the point. <laughs> The damage is one. Even though I'm wearing a bandit's armor. So the damage is really not that great. Alright, so where, where's Lance's corpse? Even though the other ones haven't been proven useful, you know, uh, Angus and Hank, and uh, there was someone else that I resurrected to see if he had anything. But, 
at least it will get me this equipment, you know, it's a bit uh, lame that I can't get his bow, nor his heavy branch, not that it's worth much, but let me check. Maybe they are significant. Come here, you bandit! Okay, at least he responded to my bandit armor. So, uh, so let me put my uh, water mage rope on. I, I just want to see what's happening here. Will it give some sort of quest dialogue that maybe never has been finished or whatever? Oh man, my head! Hey! No, nothing. Sorry, brother of the ring. <gasps> but you're not supposed to be alive. Shame though, you know, that you can't avert them from uh, dying at all. Not still worth of checking out. Even though, you know, I kind of already knew the answer. Since it's already failed about three times with supposed to be dead NPCs. But uh, at least that way I get their XP, you know, and uh, get their loot that I couldn't pick up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I will go to the water mages, so let me find the uh, teleporter. Nothing to be had there. also one of those mansions there that I need as well as one of the uh, uh, Greg's treasures which gives quite a nice amount of XP <laughs> Murky mushrooms. It's like paradise. Oh, too touché. I think I'm going in the right direction, but I'm not entirely sure. Well, that's because it's night, I can't see shit. Well, I do see these loot. Free stuff, that is always good. I think I've found something. Oh, 
Alright, so uh, let's eat the, these uh, murky mushrooms. learn how to remove the secretion from the blood Nothing fly there. stringers. Which you can either learn for free or learn for some learning points. I think it was about um, three, three learning points, I think. Not entirely sure. With uh, my playthrough of Adamos and Eno, I got it for free. Which uh, can be found, which is a uh, some sort of a message message scroll, you know, um, that contain how to re well remove the blood fly secretion, which uh, gives 100% HP. <laughs> It's uh, basically like a, um, you know, free fool. Uh, what was the potion's name? Nothing to be had there. Full elixir of life? Was that it? Not entirely sure though, but it's uh, kind of the same principle, only this is from Rothfly stri blah, Bloodfly Stingers, which can be found all over the place, you know, which is uh, free full HP mana, well, full HP potions, and if you want the mana version, then you need Minecrawler Manimals, which gives a uh, full mana. Whether you have 100, 1000, 1 million. I don't know it yet with this particular character, but I will get it from one of the bandits, at least if it's possible. I'm pretty sure that it was, but you know, I'm not gonna say unless I'm 100% sure. Which I'm not. I'm 99.9% uh, .9 sure. So nearly 100, but not quite. Uh, I think I've found something. Nothing there. Right, so let's get the tablet. Would you look at that, some more murky mushrooms. That's made my day, it has. Not really. there. Nothing there. Nothing to plunder. Nothing 
to be had there. certain chests, you know, have a uh, two of these stone tablets. One of them is for the water mages and the other one is either quest related or camp related when it comes to the bandits. You know, the red ones are bandit camp related. The uh, green ones, which I got here, is one quest related. Well, both are actually quest related, but you, know, you need one for the um, bandit, what was his name again? one of those cutthroats, you know, and I think he's better than anyone else, but, uh, and, uh, the Sackers. Well, I'm not quite sure what the bandit's name was. the teleporter stone is here around here somewhere but I can't say no to murky mushrooms to be had there. Have to be careful though, because uh, if one of those bandits see me with my ring of water armor, they will instantly kick my ass. Well, they can try to kick my ass, but they will certainly fail. Unless garment strike. Which happens often. I must admit.
Let me quickly open the uh, treasure map of Greg. It was not here anyway. At least, not according to the map. Which means, it's true. It's not here. Swamp shark. I'm terrified. Right, so this is the bandit area. The uh, a little bug in the case. Time I didn't know it was Enos Magic alone, but uh, you know, in Gothic One and Gothic Two, I saw it originally as neutral. Until uh, I played Gothic Three and noticed that healing was actually a capability of Enos alone. The only difference is here you have light, medium, and heavy healing, and in Gothic Three you only have one kind of healing, which is full healing. So, I'm gonna use it as a, um, you know, opportunity moment like this when I'm running out of potions, capabilities to heal. Juan, that was his name. Juan. How's it going? What do you want? Have you got anything to say to me? If not, you can just go away. Otherwise, my friend will make mincemeat of you. So what is it? Nothing at the moment. Since I don't have the quest yet, you know. But it is this guy who uh, got the package of lockpicks and the package of steel, which you will need for A. Fisk, the lockpicks, and uh, B. the steel for. Um, damn it, what was his name again? What was that bogus name? I don't know. One of the smiths in uh, Gothic 1 at any rate. That much I know. Who know? Was it who know? Could be.
Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. First, I'll fix that beautiful smile. This guy can learn you the blood fly secretion removal, or you can find it for free in the Valley of Mines inside the castle. <sighs> How's it going? You want to know how it's going? I'll tell you how it's going. First, some pirates brought me here on a stormy night. Man, I barfed all over that nutshell. Then Raven locked up the mine because some idiots are too greedy for gold. And then Franco became the leader of the hunters, killing anybody who's against him. I'd say it's going pretty badly. Ah, yes, Franco. Yeah, I remember that fucker. How did Franco get to be the leader? Quite simply, he killed Fletcher. He was the leader of the hunters before. Fletcher was okay, Franco's just jerking us all around. Can you teach me something? I know a lot about blood flies. I hate those miserable beasts, even more than I hate Franco. But I know how to tear their stingers and wings from their dead bodies. Yeah, tear them out! Besides that, I know how to remove the secretion from the stinger. If you want, I can teach you all that junk. Of course, nothing is free out here. About the blood flies? What do you want to know? So, 100 gold and one learning point, all for free. Not bad deal. How do I remove the secretion from the blood flies? Cut open the upper layer of the stinger lengthwise. Then the healing secretion will flow right out. That way, it's completely safe to suck out a stinger, or use it for some potions. About the blood flies? What do you want to know? Nothing. You can't teach me shit anymore. Alright, so let's go uh, activate the teleporter. Ah, uh, there it is. Nothing to be had there.
eight more levels and then the claw will be maxed out before I even got it. Uh, I think I've found something. Because as far as I remember correctly, as soon as you're, let's say, you know, every two character level, you will be able to level the claw one time. The max level of the claw is the character stat of level 48. Now 48 divided by 2 is 24, so your character level must be 48, and the claw will be 24 when the max stat has been reached. But normally, if you get it relatively early in the game, and your stats are quite low, you know, the claw will need sacrifices, if you will, in order to upgrade it further to, let's say, you know, your character, you've achieved it at level zero. Uh-oh. How did I survive that one? But, let's say you received it uh, at level uh, two. Now you can level it once, you know, um, which requires sacrifice capabilities. If I remember correctly, it will cost a bit of HP, but I'm not entirely sure if it does indeed cost HP. But if you get it at level 48, and you know, you activate the claw, then the claw is instantly, with one sacrifice, instantly maxed stats instantly. So, um, I, I will try to get level 48 before I receive the claw, although I can't make any promises. we still got plenty to do, but uh, not that much. But uh, it could be. It's a very small chance, but it could be that I'm wrong, you know. But uh, I will test it out, particularly with this particular part, no, since this guy is the only one out of my three runs. That is allowed to use the claw. Hey, no one really wants to hear that. I found Lance's body. May his soul enter the realm of Adonos. Be careful, my son. I do not want to mourn another such loss. I have Lance's aquamarine ring here. You had better give it to me so it does not fall into the wrong hands. And that's the truth. About the relics, what about this? That looks good. Where'd you find that? This thing was lying in a building near the Great Swamp. That would have been the House of the Healers. We don't know much about them. They seem to have been the first to disappear. This piece was lying in a large building in a deep ravine. That was the library of the ancient people. Apparently a tablet of the scholars. Many of the scripts we have found can be traced to the leader of the cast of scholars. Curiously enough, he did not leave his own name behind anywhere. Anything. Very good. The image of this city is becoming clearer, but we Nobody still don't know it. enough. In all, there must be five of this sort of stone tablet hidden right. around here. I Find mean, them and bring them to me. So here is some gold as a reward. I'll see whether I can find anything. Good, but hurry. Time is not our ally. We've currently completed it uh, two out of five. May Adonos protect you. Four out of five, goddammit. The things I could tell you. The only one that we still need is within the bandit camp yeah, itself. Hey, you! Kronos. You can't rely on that. Let's deal. You can't go on like this forever. Staff of power, look at the damage. The things I could tell you. No free mana though. I don't want to hear that anymore. That will never change. Mine is also 100, and give extra mana, which is the reason why I bought it. No idea. You tell me. But we get the claw soon, so you don't have to ask me that. Don't really need it. You just have to listen. I'll keep it, nevertheless. That's totally obvious. The things I could tell you. That's exactly what I said. Nobody wants to know. Oh no, I sold like this forever. the ring of the Axis. I've got no time for things like that. Good thing it only cost me five to rebuy. That. And that's the truth. 
Oh, so still still the the uh, no, I don't really you need mana me. bonus. Tangram's ring is in the valley. This is gonna cost me no a bit I of time, you guys. Tell me. As if I don't have enough problems. You just have to listen. That'll only cause more trouble. I'm staying out of it. Why haven't I heard about this before? Seventy learning points, really? All right, so let's make some uh, permanent mana potions. Did I already learn that? Wait, let me check. Teach me the art of brewing potions. And what do you want to brew? Probably not. Nope. Well, I want to say obviously not, but I said probably not. Satura sent me. I'm supposed to search through the five mansions of Jarkandar. It took me a long time to find the location of the mansions and the writings of the builders. But now I can tell you exactly. Where do I find the five mansions? The House of the Scholars is a large library. It must be somewhere far to the north. Done. The House of the Warriors was a fortress ringed by rocks in the east. Done. The priests and guardians of the dead had their dwellings near each other. You should find them in the southwest. Done. And the healers had their house of convalescence in the southeast. If these houses are still standing, you'll recognize them from their method of construction. They are elevated. A steep stairway leads to the entrance covered by high columns. Uh, about the mansions? Yes. The orcs seem to be interested in the library of the scholars. Do you think they can read the ancient language? I don't think so, but who knows? Perhaps you should make sure that they go away, nevertheless. The House of the Healers is in the middle of the swampy area and is defended by many stone sentinels. So it is still standing? Yes, but I wonder for how much longer. It pains my soul to see the witnesses of the past in this dilapidated condition. There were a lot of mine crawlers in the House of the Priests. Aren't these animals very uncommon for the area? They certainly are. By Adonos, curious things are happening in this area. The House of the Guardians of the Dead is dominated by the power of evil. I think I have rarely seen so many zombies in one place. That is unfortunate. The Guardians of the Dead were obviously the victims of their special skills. Their connection to the world of the dead damaged them greatly. I hope you are able to free them from their suffering. The orcs will soon lose interest in this area. What makes you say that? Their leader is dead. Let's just hope you are right. We really don't need disturbances of that sort right now. Well, good. All right, so let's make some permanent mana. Will certainly help in my quest for power.
10 of the 50 free man in total. Uh, GG. Gonna be quite OP. <laughs> just a bit again, you know, just a tiny bit. Let me quickly uh, deliver more. Get that one done as well. Two other stars with the other uh, band, well, bandit, with the uh, pirate. About the. Uh, one of the dead pirates, I think his name was uh, Macron or something like that. I know not Macron as in the French president. But I, I'm pretty sure he had kind of a similar name. Malcolm, that's it. Your pal Malcolm is dead. I thought as much. Poor devil. Should have helped him after all. You're really brave, you know that? I couldn't have done that with the crevice. And? If I had known all this in advance, I'd never have become a pirate. You don't have things to be told in advance. It would ruin the beautiful asset of life. You know, because uh, either way, whether you know it's coming or not, good or bad, it ruins the fun. Especially the bad, you know. Once you, you know your destiny and you know how exactly it's gonna be around then, you know. Your life is gonna be miserable. Sure, you know, you could know that, let's say, in about 50 years you will die, or in about 10 years, and you can enjoy life to the fullest. But, you know, it still would ruin it, kind of. S same as immortality, you know. I personally, personally me, you know, would not want to live uh, for forever like like you know until the end of time itself fuck no all those wars all those corruptions all those dividedness among humanity you know as long as we're not gonna be united fuck eternal life fuck that shit because you know even if you are immortal in some sort of a way you can still be destroyed Vampires, for example, you know, they are, are immortal, but can die he because of the sun. That. Still, they have a weakness, so they're That's not literally happened. immortal. Eh, been there, done that. Um, That's Morgan? Been a long time. Where's Morgan? About Angus and Hank. I found them. So tell me already. Where are they? They're dead. The ring. What about the ring? Here it is. Yes, that's it. Good man. Here, take this stone tablet. It may look like a piece of junk, but Garrett will shell out a lot of gold for it. Is there anything else for me to do? You'd better go ask the captain. Hey! What are you doing now? I'm taking a break. Fran Let him. I found your friends. And? Where are they? They're dead. Those damn bandits did this. It's possible. Those cursed swine? May they roast in hell. <sighs> if only I knew the name of the lowlife who did this. I'll find out for you. If though I already know who it is, which is Juan. But, uh, 
My character doesn't know yet. Uh, Morgan can teach me shit. I still need 15 learning points into one handed. That's three, three times leveling, 30 learning points, give it a take. So, uh, one handed is basically maxed. Well, nearly maxed. 90%. Remaining 10% will be done through stone tablets. Yeah, I totally forgot about that one. The ancient language. I still have to continue to learn those, which I can, since I have 70 learning points. 50, 50, because I wasted 20 on permanent mana. So let me do that one first, so I can abuse all the tablets that A, I don't need, and B, that are, you know, already maxed out. As in, minimum requirements, if you will, you know. Um, who could teach me the language? Not Reordian. What was it mix here? I've activated another one of the teleporter stones. Give me the next focus. Of course. Here it is. Here are a few gold coins. Gold, gold. Nothing but gold. Interesting. Maybe as a fire mage, you can also, you know, join the circle of water. But I'm looking for the bugger. Hey, that can teach me the language. What learn the language of the builders? Teach me that language. You already know the language of the peasants. The language of the warriors is somewhat harder. Texts written in the language of the warriors mostly deal with weapons and war. You will learn some useful things there. Go and test your new knowledge. You will see that the scriptures of the builders are no longer an unsolvable mystery for you. Teach me that language. The high language of the priests is truly difficult to understand, but I will gladly show you. Above all else, the holy scriptures which explain the history and magic of the creators are written in the language of the priests. Each of these texts is a real treasure, if one understands their meaning. Go and test your new knowledge. You will see that the scriptures of the Builders are no longer an unsolvable mystery for you. If I see a spirit, I'll let you know. <laughs> yes, I insist on it. Teach me that language. There is nothing more that I can show you. You have now mastered the language of the Builders. I haven't learned shit. My character have, however, but I haven't. Alright, so let's check out the stone tablets, archery, don't need it. Crossbow, don't need it. Dexterity is already maxed, minimum requirement that is. Life ins, you know, never useful. As in, to wait with, you know. Weight with strength is already maxed as in minimum requirement. Two hundred has to be weight. So all in all. Alright, um 
was something else I wanted to do before returning. All right, William. Let me let me quickly go to William's corpse. Hey, murky mushrooms. Never say no to murky mushrooms unless you will not use you know mana that often. Then uh, it's not really necessary to keep them. But uh, free mana is free mana. You know, a free is always good whether you need it or not. At least, my opinion again. But that is because all three parts of my have magical capabilities. Even the fourth run will have magical capabilities. Which is the uh, hardcore run. Which will be the master in the arts of Enos, Adonos and Balear. As well as in all a close combat combat, uh, long range combat, it will be master of all trades, if you will. Just like Ahmed of all trades. Which is the uh, Hussitian uh, gladiator in Gothic 3 in Bakaresh? I think it was Bakaresh. Yeah, pretty sure it was Bakaresh. He's also a, uh, he's called Ahmed of all trades. Because he's masked in one-handed, dual wield with one-handed, and in two-handed. Maybe even bow and crossbow, who knows. Uh, quickly to Saturus. Hey! May Adonos protect you. Let's first go towards the bandit camp before taking care of Juan. Let's talk with this bug over here. Shit! Another new boy! <laughs> here for the gold too, aren't you? Gold? Quit trying to kid me! All the new boys who come here want into the mine. But don't think it's that easy! How do I get to the camp? Just follow the boardwalk. But if you want to get into the mine, you'll have to get past Franco. He expects all the new boys to slave away out here for a while first. Tell me more about the mine. I'll give you some good advice. If you want to get in there, get in good with Franco. He's the boss out here. He decides who is the next to go in. But he'll only let you in if you don't go brick out here. So go to him and let him give you a job. Where do I find this Franco? 
He mostly hangs out in the court in front of the camp. Getting good with him or you'll wind up with a crappy job like me. Do you have to hang around here all the time? I'm supposed to check out all the new boys to make sure that none of them are spies. But you can't forget it. I mean, we're at the end of the world here. In the middle of a swamp. No one can find us. No one will find us. And why should someone go to the trouble of sending us a spy? What's new? Nah, there's nothing new right now. Okay. What are you doing here? Are you looking for something? Plants. I'm looking for plants. Most of the stuff that grows here can be used for something. Many plants have healing properties, and you can smoke swamp weed reefers. Before my time behind the barrier, I worked as an alchemist. Why did they put you behind the barrier? I worked with mind-altering potions. A lot. One evening, my master Ignaz drank my experiment instead of his wine. That rendered him temporarily, uh, unpredictable. And since then, he's been somewhat confused. The mages had me thrown behind the barrier for that. Research into forbidden knowledge, they called it. What can you tell me about the camp? Not much. I have never been in there myself. Only Raven's people were there from the beginning. All the others who came later, like me, have to wait until they need new people. Where did you come from? Well, the same way as you, I suppose. With the pirates, over the sea. The valley here is completely cut off. There's no connection over land. Right. When do they need new people? Well, when they're missing some in there. If a digger gets himself eaten by a mine crawler, they let one of us replace him. Sometimes they also kill each other. But they've been better about that lately. Raven has controlled the access to the mine somehow so that not everyone can get in at the same time. But I don't know exactly how that works. I've never been inside. Can you teach me something? Mm, no time. I am here to get gold, and as long as I can't get into the camp, I make a living by selling my herbs. But if you need a few potions, I still have some. Let's deal. I'll take your King Sorrel. I take your... Gold Nuggets. Goblin berries and dragon root. Let's. Why not? If not using it for per permanent potions, and I could still use it for one stat at a time. Free stats. Free stats is free stats. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had. Hey, you! Why are you sitting around here? I've got problems. At the moment, it's better for my health if I'm not seen in the camp. What's wrong? 
I had really good relations with some of the pirates, you see. I was always meeting the boys outside their camp and trading. Man, I bought stuff for half the camp. Tom, bring me this. Tom, bring me that. And then that bastard Esteban got in between. What happened? Esteban sent Juan, one of his boys. The bastard waylaid us. I was just about to make a deal with the pirates when he came out of the dark and knocked me down with two blows. Man, that guy is fast, but not fast enough. I was able to get away from him. And since the ambush, you've been hiding here. First, I went back to the camp and let Fisk, Huno, and the others know that they could forget their delivery. And that Esteban was behind it. If Esteban finds out that I told the others that he was responsible, I'm dead. That's why I can't go back to the camp. What else? Well, I'll just sit here counting rocks. Must be fun. Since uh, there are not many rocks around here. Not at all. Hey! Look, a new face. Are you just gonna stand around here, or have you come to help me? It depends. What do you need help with? The swamp sharks are coming a little too close for me. High time to finish off a few of them. What do I get for my help? Franco will let you rot here if you do nothing. If you want to get into the camp, you'll have to lend a hand. You won't get any further here with just words. Besides, I can show you how to gut the beasts. But don't think Franco will send you straight into the camp just because we've had a little fun with the swamp sharks here. There are people out here who have been waiting a long time to get in. And the next one who gets in is me. It had better be me. What's in the camp then? The question is what isn't in the camp. There are no swamp sharks, no swamp holes, no swamp at all. Instead, they have booze and gold. As far as I know, they even have a woman. Got it? Get it? Yeah, got it, man. Show me how to gut animals. If you want to learn something about blood flies, go to Ed Gore. He knows all about them. And if you want to gut swamp sharks or lizards, you have to know how to remove skins and teeth. I can show you that. Already right, know that. Let's attack the swamp sharks. You figured out how to get ahead here. I'm pleased. Psst. Hey, you hear that? Oh yeah, I hear them. I see. And what do we do now? They're coming. They've got an appetite for a bite of human flesh. <laughs> well, we'll see who gets eaten here. <laughs> Let's go. What happens if he dies? What will then take his place? Alright, so much for you, filthy beast! The only good swamp shark is a dead swamp shark. That'll be a warning to their brothers. Alright. Is there anything else to do? Otherwise, I'll take off. Do that. If you want to learn anything else, you know where to find me. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there. Let's kick his ass. You're in. Just to see what happens when uh, he's dead. You know, I, I, I didn't want to kill him. I just wanted to get his XP. But uh, since he's dead, I'm gonna test who the person will be that will enter the camp if this bugger is dead. Good test. Never tried that one before. And like I said, really didn't want to kill him, I just wanted to have his XP. But uh, knocking him down is instantly killing him since he's a bandit. So that was not really a smart move, but a good way to test it though. Since he didn't die by the swamp shark, killed him myself. 
Hey, what are you doing here? Do you want to get into the camp? Yes, I am... I don't care who you are. I'm Franco. I'm the leader here. So, if you do a good job out here, I'll take you into the camp. Ramon, the gatekeeper, will tell you if they need new people in the camp. Talk to him. You have to feel sorry for the poor guy. It had to happen sooner or later. He should have known better. Hey, what do you want, huh? I can't imagine you have a permit for the camp. Franco sent me. He wants to know if anyone is needed in the camp. Yeah, we need someone. Another one of the guys kicked the bucket yesterday. That idiot tangled with Esteban. Who is Esteban? The leader of the lower camp, he decides who gets into the mine. So tell Franco that Thoris wants a new man. Got it? Thoris? The Thoris? Yes, the Thoris. The man who calls for new people. The man who decides if and when a new guy gets out of the swamp and into the camp. You are trying to tell me that you know him from earlier? Well, yes. Listen, everyone knows Thoris. Nevertheless, you aren't getting in, and I won't give him a message. All right, a moment of truth. Who will be sending those who's dead? Hey! Thoris needs a new man. Good. I'll take care of it. Wait a minute. What about me? You haven't done anything yet. I've done a lot. Only you don't know about it. Okay. You want a chance. You'll get your chance. Move your butt to Logan. The Swamp Sharks are breathing down his neck. Help him finish off the beasts, and you're as good as in the camp. I helped Logan, but he didn't survive. Okay, so you fought the Swamp Sharks. You're useful, at least more so than most of the guys here. So can I go to the camp now? Listen, there's another thing I need you for. A few days ago, I sent Edgar into the swamp. He was supposed to get me an old stone tablet. But he hasn't been seen since. See what he's doing, and bring me that damn stone tablet. What about gold? What? Do I get anything for my work here in the swamp? You want gold? Sure. How much do you want? Fifty gold nuggets. A hundred. I'll give you as much gold as you can carry. Who do you think you are? Are you trying to make a fool out of me? Now push off and do something. Otherwise, you won't get so much as one crumb of gold. Hey, you! Here's the stone tablet. Good. Very good. Raven will be pleased with you. I couldn't get away with that. Send me in now. And what if I say no? Then I'll just wait a bit. Exactly! Hey! What about the camp now? Can I finally go in? No! I already sent someone else in. And at the moment, there's no need for another man in the camp. Besides, I can really use you here. Now that Logan is here. Logan is dead, man. So you're literally sending a ghost into the camp. Send me in now. And what if I say no? Then you'll simply regret it. Are you threatening me? You want to threaten me? It's time for a lesson. Ah! Interesting. So even if Logan dies, he will send Logan into the camp. Well, since they need a new person, let me see if I can get the alchemist inside. Prop nope. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Same old thing all over again. 
maybe maybe Logan got resurrected. I'll we'll see when we're in the camp. Hey, what happened down there? I flattened Franco. So? Then now it's your job to make sure the lazy dogs do their work every day. Hey, I'm not here to be bothered with the hunters. I want to enter the camp. Forget it. You did it, Franco. Now you're the leader, so do your job. If I'm the leader, then I decide who goes in next. And I decided that I'm next. <laughs> it isn't that easy. We haven't asked for anyone, so no one gets in. Thoris can send a new leader for the hunters. Then there will be a vacancy inside for me. <laughs> you don't give up, do you? Okay. Then move your butt inside. Thoris will make sure that the hunters won't have to live without a leader. What are you waiting for? And get yourself a pickaxe. Wait a minute. Hey, are you the new guy who knocked on Franco? Yes, why? Because now I have to take over his job. You did a great job. Thanks a lot. You're welcome, man. Glad you're happy with it. And what's it like leading the hunters? Leave me alone. Alright, so let's see we saw if Logan did and did not got resurrected, I doubt it. Well, that means that there are technically speaking still the spot open. Ah, who have we here then? Looky, looky. There you are. I've got good news and bad news for you. First, tell me the bad news. Raven is looking for you. So are his guards. Actually, all the bandits are looking for you. And if they find you, they'll kill you. A lot of people have already tried that. Then your combat skills are as good as your craftiness. Coming into the camp with some of our armor is like the sheep coming to the wolves. Your life is hanging by a thin thread, son of danger. Just the way I like it. And what's the good news? Well, I don't really know why, but you've made yourself a couple of powerful enemies. You can count yourself lucky that I recognized you and no one else. Because I am understanding and sociable. How much do you want? Oh, no, please. I don't want to extort gold from you. I wouldn't dream of it. Then what do you want? Recently, somebody tried to get Esteban out of the way, but he ran into the bodyguards. Go to Esteban and talk to him. Afterwards, we'll talk again. No one got sent in. So they literally send it in a ghost. Hey, do you want to eat or chatter? What'll it be? Food would be some good. What's on the menu? I want to try out a new dish. Fire strips and hammer sauce. Hammer sauce? A sauce made from hammer hard booze. I have a recipe from a guy called Lou. You get the ingredients and distill the booze up on the alchemist's bench. Then I'll make a sauce out of it. What do you think? Fire strips? Crisp, delicately roasted meat mixed with pickled fireweed. But don't worry, I already have the ingredients for that. Okay, I'll do it. All right, here's the recipe. And? How's it going? Listen, if you want something to eat, go to Snaff. If you want something to drink, you're in the right place. Well, what do you drink here, then? We only have a little beer. The only beer on the island was brought by the Paladines. Just about the only good thing those fellas brought with them. Otherwise, we drink booze. I got moonshine, grog, and white rum. Mmm, you should try that. I got the recipe from Samuel. The old boy really knows his trade. 
Aren't you from Corinus? Don't remind me. My life in that city was horrible. While the ships with the new convicts kept coming in, there was still life in the town. But all those other guys? <laughs> no thanks. Maybe it's because we're on an island. Well, those days are over. I'm finished with Eldritch. Why? He's a wimp. When the bandits dragged me off, he didn't lift a finger to help me. What are you planning to do? We'll see. For now, I'll stay here with Snaff, Fisk, and the others. Have you already talked to Thoris? Oh, Enos, is that a hunk of a man? <laughs> Excuse me. Let's get back to your question. I haven't set a goal. I'm only drifting. You're not very fond of the Paladins, are you? Those fanatical murderers in the pay of the Fire Magicians? No. But Lord Hagen occupies a city with his thugs, and everybody bows down to him. And I didn't want to do that. I wasn't going to wait until they closed down the Red Lantern and locked me up. Fuck the gods. Except for Badiard. Can you teach me something? <laughs> Only too gladly. You can train your dexterity with me. I want to become more dexterous. There's nothing else I can teach you. You've become too good. I know. I know. You can gear from uh, one of the uh, swamp sharks near Logan. Here you will find the recipe of the loose double hammer. I found the key. Now I'll create it two times. One for me and one for Snap. Um, boost. Ok, 
Okay, he needs one loose hammer. And then let's distill it again. We'll do so later. Let me first deliver the uh, loose hammer source. I distilled the booze. Excellent. Then I'll finish it. Here, you can try a portion right away. That'll put some strength in your arm. Oh, and if I can help you again, for you, all information is free from now on. dark cloud over the house the one approaches with blood needed to call him he who sees me he sees me oh no go away be gone are you all right green green novice i cannot find it here take this swamp weed Not green, not strong, not green, not strong. How can I help you? The green, the green novice will help the novice. All right, so let's uh, make two of the green novices. I couldn't make loose hammer or double hammer due to the fact that I don't have the swamp shark teeth. Oh well, I will get them at some point. I can either buy them back if needed, you know. From uh, our good friend Kronos. Green, green novice, I cannot find it. Here, take this green novice. Ah, oh, my head. Who? Oh, I am Fortuno. What? What is wrong? Do you need more swamp weed? Yes, definitely. 
I will buy all the swamp weed you can get your hands on. I'll even pay you more for it than Fisk. I've got swamp weed for you. Only 18, really. I have like 50 or something. So tell me what is wrong with you. Once, I belonged to the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. Everything was all right back then. Fine. We were all condemned criminals. But for us novices, life was free from care. Hey, I was a prisoner in the Valley of Mines myself. Tell me something new. I... I don't remember anything. Darkness lies across my mind. Come on, concentrate. What happened? When did you come back to your senses? Raven. I only remember Raven and... and dark rooms. What about Raven? What did he do to you? I'm sorry. It's as though my mind were held prisoner. I don't understand it myself. There must be a way to refresh your memory. Yes. Yes, maybe there is a way. The gurus knew of various forms of altering the spirit and the will. Do you remember anything about that? No. I'm afraid this knowledge vanished with the gurus. Damn. Well, if there is a way to free your spirit, I'll find it. Alright, so let's go to the uh, alchemist slash herbalist guy. But... Hey, you! Fortuno is pretty confused and could use a potion to restore his memory. Fortuno? That's Raven's servant, no? He was. Now he's just a wreck. And it's Raven's fault. Raven? Until now I thought a lot of him. Hmm. All right. But here in the swamp, I can't brew any potions. I could brew the potion. There's an alchemist's bench in the camp. I just need the recipe. Be careful with this recipe. Brewing this potion is dangerous. If something goes wrong in the brewing, or one of the ingredients isn't right, the potion will be deadly. I'll be careful. Altering potions two times. One for myself and one for Fortuna. of healing. Let me make two. Oh wait, I didn't learn how to make those. Let me, let me buy one or two. Hey, you! You should have known. Tell me that 
isn't true. Do you really think? Good XP to just to consume it. All right, so let me quickly talk again with Fortuno. I have a potion for you. It will help you to remember. I trust you. And ah, I remember again. Now I see. Adonos, be with me. What have I done? Yes, what have you done? And above all, what has Raven done? I helped him to make contact with him. He wanted various elixirs. I brewed them for him. He tried to open the portal to get into the temple. Why? What does he want in the temple? A powerful artifact. It lies buried together with the one who once bore it. A mighty warrior who fell to him. And then? We couldn't open the portal. But Raven was sure that he could, if he had the tomb of the priest excavated. That's why he brought the slaves here. Victims he could force to dig where the powers of time lie at rest. Tomb of the priest? The resting place of a priest of Adonos. It lies in the mine. I also remember the stone tablets. He believed that they would show him the way. And once he was able to decipher the characters on them, he no longer needed me. He put a spell of forgetfulness on me. And, and you have freed me. Hey. Hi. What you want? Where do I get a pickaxe? Go to Huno the Smith. But even if you have a pick, that don't mean that you can get into the mine. If you want to get in, you have to talk to Estebarn. Don't even bother going to Thor's. He'll only let you in if you have a red stone. Estebarn? Tell me, what do you think of Esteban? Hey, he's the boss here. He's all right, I think. He always lets the good boys into the mine, the ones who know something about mining, I mean. And you know something about mining? <laughs> I'm the best. What do I have to know about mining gold? Well, there's something you should know. Gold is an ore. There's one damn important difference. I mean, what woman would hang a chain of ore around her neck? <laughs> when picking, work from top to bottom. You can work the nuggets loose best that way. There are also diggers who do it the other way around, but eh, it's far more difficult. Can you? Sure. Uh, I didn't go need it yet. Hey, you! Do you really believe that? Hi. Hi. I'm Lenar. Welcome to the diggers' cave. Yeah. Diggers? Said that. I thought this was the bandits' camp. Right. I couldn't get away but with that. the bandits are only here today. So. I'd have gone about it differently. Can you teach me anything about gold mining? Certainly. But if I teach you something, you'll you be able new. to mine more gold. That's why I'm asking. That was sure. no big deal. But if you can mine more, it's only fair I get a share of it. You listen to the wrong. Well. You might as well give him a share in advance. I couldn't tell that. Oh, let's say 50 gold pieces. Don't tell me you didn't know that. Okay, here's your 50 gold piece. I can't rely on that. Teach me something about gold mining. Good. He never would have thought Regular swings himself. will take you forward. Don't overdo it. But also, yeah, don't fall asleep later. swinging. And don't always strike at the same don't spot. You didn't Try to that. work around a good-sized nugget. 
Do that, and you're on the way to becoming a master digger. You hardly know who to believe these days. I've got no time for things like that. He never would have thought of that himself. You no look like a deal. digger. I am a digger. The last time so I was in the mine, I worked my ass off. What does he know about duty? What happens to the gold from the mine? Doris collects it and then distributes it. No one is allowed to keep what he mines. I used to say that myself. Everybody gets only a part of the gold. That way even the hunters and guards get their share. I think that's okay. Since we've had that rule, there have been fewer deaths and, and the miners still get more than the guys who hang around outside. Why aren't you in the mine now? I was in the mine long enough and slaved away until I was about to fall over. Now I need a few days rest. What does he know about duty? <sighs> Before I get my next red stone. What's the deal with these oh, red God. stones? Yeah, that's something Thoris and Is Esteban really thought up. Thoris takes care of the gold distribution, and that's Esteban organizes the workers for the mine. Of course, he doesn't that's want to run to Thoris gossip. every time he sends someone to the mine. That's yeah, why he gives us one of those red stone tablets, and Thoris lets us in then. It's like a pass. It had to happen so hey, late. you! I agree with you completely. About Esteban, I used to say have you already him. talked to him? Not yet. Well, you, you should do that soon. I'll do it whenever I want to do it, goddammit. It's a bad hey. That was no big deal. Are you a digger? Because of the pads? Nah, I just wear them because they're comfortable. All I do here is cook meat stew. Here, you can try some. It'll make you strong. It's always important to train your strength. There are many dangers lurking out there. If you want, I can help you to get stronger. No, you can't. I want to be stronger. All that matters is strength. There is nothing else I can teach you. You've become to too good. Myself. I know. But it's That's nice to hear. My problem. Same old thing all over Don't again. wake him. What? If you want to do yourself a favor, then stay away from Skinner. The fellow is unpredictable. He killed the last guy who woke him up. Let him sleep for everybody's sake. Turned out differently I'll kill him. Exactly if he's gonna try to kill me for waking him up, I'm gonna kick his ass. All the way back into the realm of Balear. Which is a long kick. All that matters is strength. So don't tell me I'm staying out. Damn it! What's up? Why did you wake me, eh? I, I bet you don't even know. No, don't say anything. It's too late for excuses. Now you have two choices. You can fight me and my Betty, or you can try to run away. In your place, I'd run. Hope. And now for some... Give it your all! Yeah, Show him! I must admit, Skinner. Your damage was, how shall I say it, quite, quite strong. That's a weapon, would you look at that? Thank you, Skinner. Do you really think? All I wanted to do was have a conversation, Skinner. Bob, you had to attack. Hey, if you're looking for a decent trader here in the camp, then you just found him. My hut is right behind Esteban, so if you need anything, come on by. Wait a minute. Hey, man, I'm fish. There's been all kinds of rumors. Show me your wares. You don't have to ask me that. Could also have bought my uh, potions here. Yeah. Those are all just rumors. 
can't rely on that. He was falling down. I'll just purchase the turnips for the uh, loose dollar hammer. You don't have to tell me that. No, is it junk to sell? Let me you check. Nobody wants to know. Anything's possible. Same old thing all over again. You don't have to ask me that. Nobody wants to know. It's better to watch out who you tell why. Been there, done that. Just give me a bit of time, guys. It was his decision, wasn't it? Why haven't I heard about this before? That will never change. You have to feel sorry for the poor guy. Tell me that isn't true. He was falling down drunk. The things I could tell you. You have to feel sorry for the poor guy. Same old thing all over again. I'll never get this open without the right key. Hey! So you're the fellow who fought his way into camp, huh? That got around fast. Franco was a tough nut. No one messed with him. No one. Except you. Just to make it clear, if you try the same shit with me, <laughs> I'll kill you. isn't true I want to get into the mine of course you do then you're in the right place with me because everyone who digs in the mine gets to keep a hefty share of the gold and I hand out the red stones you need so that Thoris will let you in give me one of those red stones okay but they aren't free Normally, I uh, demand a share of the gold the boys get for digging. <laughs> How much do you know about mining gold, huh? You probably learned a few tricks, right? Right. If I give you a redstone, it won't be because you're such a great digger. No. I have another job for you. Nothing's ever going to change that. What sort of job? One of the bandits planned to kill me, but instead, my guards killed him. He was hot for your job, huh? Ah, he was an idiot. A thug without a brain. He never would have got the idea to attack me on his own. Nah. He was only fulfilling a contract. Someone else sent him. So, I'm supposed to find out who was behind it. Whoever sent me this assassin will pay for it. Find him. And I'll let you into the mine. Senyan sent me to you about this business. Senyan? He also works for me. Do you really think? I told him he should keep his eyes open. That's no secret. Give me this stone now, or I'll get it myself. Oh, you've got a death wish. All right. I'll do you a favor. And put you out of your stupidity. Yeah, that's the ticket. Holy shit! Finish him! Attaboy! Slug him! What you waiting for? And now for some action. Holy shit! Now the only reason why I did this is was because I didn't do this with either two of my other runs. And uh it went pretty good. Pretty good. That'll only cause more trouble. You don't have to tell me that. That's totally obvious. Let's talk with Senyon. Hey, you! I've talked to Esteban. And did he tell you about the attack? He ordered me to find out who sent the assassin. Do you know anything about that? No more than you do. I'm also on the hunt for the guy behind it. 
And now we come to the interesting part. Let's hear it. I want you to do your job well. I want you to find the traitor. And when you have found him, I want you to kill him for me. Then I will pocket the reward. I have your wanted poster. Don't forget that. Do your job and do it well. You can figure out what will happen otherwise. Forget it. Then what do I still need you for, you bum? Hey, people! Look who we have here! And look who was there. Unpaid debts. Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> no, man. I don't have a problem with it. Quite the opposite. The bastard worked for Esteban. Right, so Esteban is dead, that brick is dead. Who's next? Hmm? Who's next on my got to kill list? What do you know about the attack? Hey man, I didn't have anything to do with it. What do you have against Esteban? All that swine thinks about is money. Every few days one of us gets eaten by a crawler. But Esteban just won't send any fighters into the mine. And why? Those guys belong to Raven's bodyguards, and Esteban is scared shitless to tell them. <laughs> He'd rather let us get killed. What? Nothing. What do you know about the attack? The thing with Esteban? You know how it is. The barkeeper hears everything, but never takes sides. So do you know something? I didn't say that. If you were in my place, what would you do? I would think about what I know about the guy behind it. First, it was probably one of the bandits. That means he's here in the camp. Second, that he's here in the camp means that he is watching you. Third, as long as he thinks that you're on Esteban's side, he'll never reveal himself to you. So, the interesting question is, what are your chances of finding your man? Relatively high, because uh, Esteban is dead. What are my chances of finding my man? Hmm. You bumped off one of Esteban's people. The man you're looking for will believe you're on his side. But he won't just reveal himself to you. You'll have to find out more. Thanks. Hey, I didn't tell you anything you didn't already know. Got it? Got it. How's business? Good. Esteban's death is a reason for some here to celebrate. Indeed. What do you know about the attempt on Esteban's life? Nothing at all. That's not very helpful, is it? About the attack on Esteban. Uh, yeah? Do you have any idea who's behind this? Why do you want to know? I want to talk to the guy. So? And what do you want from him? I have some interesting information for him. You're in cahoots with the guy who ordered the assassination, aren't you? I want to bump off Esteban, and I'm looking for an ally. Oh, <laughs> I won't have anything to do with that. No need. Esteban is already dead. About the attack on Esteban. Yeah. Do you have any idea who was behind it? Sure. Let me tell you. I bet that Emilio is behind this. He always ran to the mine like a crazy man. He dug as much as he could. But since the attack, he's been sitting on his bench, not budging an inch. It's obvious. To get into the mine, he has to have a red stone from Esteban. I bet he doesn't dare look him in the eye. What would Emilio get out of Esteban's death? What do I know? 
Maybe he has a pal in the mine who would take over Esteban's place then. Yeah, that would make sense. What do you know about the attempt on Esteban's life? Attack? Sorry, I was absent for some time. I don't know anything about it. Lenar told me a bit about you. Lenar? That guy's an idiot. You must have noticed. He said you haven't been in the mine since the attack happened. I don't know anything. Help me find out who was behind the attack. No, I don't want anything to do with it. If an idiot like Lenar notices that you're behaving oddly, it won't take long before Esteban finds out too. I... shit. I'll tell you one name. Nothing more. I'm listening. Huno. Go to Huno. He must know something about this business. Good man. Not that I need to know, of course, but uh, it's still giving me a bit of XP. Which I enjoy. I love XP. Right, let me quickly talk with you Forrest so I can also, you know, I share out these uh, redstone tablets. You have to feel sorry for the poor guy. Do you deal in smithy equipment? Huno has steel. I only have a few lumps of ore, but I won't give that up. It's the only thing I have of value. He simply needs to practice. Do you work for Huno? I wanted to make up a bit of gold and took up with Huno, but since then, Esteban hasn't given me anything at all. He said he can't use me anymore. What else can I do but continue to slave away for Huno? No idea, you tell me. What do you know about the attempt on Esteban's life? Nothing, man. I didn't have anything to do with it. What do you want from me? He was fallen down. Huno is suspected of having something to do with the attack. I don't know anything about it. You don't have to ask me that. But you work for Huno, so you do know something. I know nothing. Honest, I have to go now. Wait a minute. I've got no time for things like that. Do you know what Esteban will do to you when he finds out you're covering for Huno? Man, leave me alone. I don't have anything to do with that business. The things I could tell you. Tell me what you know now, or I'll slam you into the wall, Paul. You can't rough me up just because you work for the boss. I can. Cut the crap! Paul. All I know is that Huno has a bone to pick with Esteban. He's constantly going on at me about totally that Esteban, honest. that he screwed up business for him and so on. I only listened and never again. said anything. Exactly. You, you see, that wasn't so bad. I couldn't get away with that. Everything else all right with you? I told you everything down. I know. Been there, done that. You already know what I think. It looks like you're a master of your craft. I've heard that before. Did you bring the steel? Steel? No, I think you're confusing me with... Hmm, somehow you seem familiar. Do we know each other from somewhere? Sure, from the old camp. The old camp, right! You're that curious guy! I thought you was dead! Yes, everybody thinks that. Who else survived? A few. Some fled with Raven like I did. For a lot of others, the old camp became a grave. Tell me about your escape. Chaos broke out the day the barrier fell. Some hid, others fled, and there was a plundering everywhere. What did you do? I was about to leave the camp when it turned bright very suddenly, and a scorching pain ate through my skin. I'd been struck by damn lightning. It feels like I can still hear it. Later, someone told me that Thoris found me and took me with him. About the attack on Esteban. What do you want from me? 
I'm looking for the person behind the attack. And why are you coming to me about that? I thought you might know something about that business. I don't know anything. Yes, you do, Huno. We both know it. I've heard a few things about you. So? Paul said you hate Esteban. So? Did he? What else? Emilio spat out your name. You definitely know something about the attack. You've been having a chat with old Emilio, eh? And he isn't the only one who suspects you. What's that supposed to mean, huh? I want to join forces with the assassin. Against Esteban, really? Then prove it. I've been waiting for too long for a delivery of steel from the pirates. I suspect that Esteban captured it in order to sell it to me later at a higher price. Of course, he won't do that himself. A couple of bandits in the swamp are on his payroll. How do you know that? Drunken bandits talk too much. Does this talkative bandit have a name? His name is none of your business, but the guy you're looking for is called Juan. Anyway, I haven't seen him in the camp for a long time. You'll have to look for him in the swamp. The guy that he's talking about is Tom. The one uh, that is counting rocks in his uh, little, little cave. First, tell me who is behind the attack. No, I don't trust you. Look, the next conversation I have is either going to be with the person behind the attack or with Esteban. Who I talk to is your choice. All right. I'll get you together with a perpetrator. But it happens the way I say. Got it? Go to the bar and talk to the barkeeper. You'll learn everything else from him. You will get your steel soon, my friend. Since Esteban has already been taken care of, including it's his totally little obvious. guards. He simply needs to practice. Which were, I must admit, kind of easy to defeat. Who knows sent me? Looks like you found your man. Go on up to the next floor. Someone's waiting for you. What do you know about the attempt on Esteban's life? Listen, I don't want anything to do with that business, got it? I have my own worries. I'm a victim myself. In what way? I paid a lot of gold for my last delivery, but it never came. Some swine made off with it. I've been robbed, probably by some of our own people. What sort of delivery? A packet of lockpicks. Someone was supposed to get them from the pirates for me. But a guy named Juan snatched it away from me, including the gold that I paid for it. That bastard is hiding somewhere in the swamp. Juan worked for Esteban. What? Don't play games with me. You knew about it. Fine, you're right. But I hope you also realize why I didn't tell you about it. Everyone in the camp knows you work for Esteban. I don't have any desire to get dragged into this business just because you're hot for a red stone. I'm not really working for Esteban. So? You want to pull the wool over the old swine's eyes? Then I'll give you some good advice. Keep it to yourself. When it comes to Esteban, trust no one. Not even me, got it? Now enough about that. We don't want to be overheard. So you were behind the attack? Yes. Esteban is in the way of my business. He won't let any of the bandits who work for me into the mine. He's making sure that everyone works for him, and only for him. That way, he can pocket a percentage of every deal and control the whole camp. Do you want to take his place? No, I'm a traitor. I just want to go about my business in peace. 
What are you planning? Esteban is dead. I can devote myself to my business again. Here, this is for you. Wait a minute. Esteban is finished. I've waited for this for a long time. I think you've got things to do now, and uh, I need to go back to my business. So, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Wait a minute. So, no, no bonus XP for, you know, handling it by myself. A bit lame. Oh, well. Let's quickly talk with Thoris, get the red stones, and then uh, I've got no time go into like the that. next part. You know the rule. No one goes into the mine without a redstone tablet. Forget the mine. I have to see Raven. Even then, we have rules here, and they apply to everyone, even to you. Go back. If you try to enter the upper square without permission, the other guards will kill you. Those are the rules. Things would have turned out different Wait a minute. if it hadn't been for us. Do you really think? It's important that I get to Raven. Oh yeah? Do you really think you can make it through to him? His guards have orders not to let anyone in. You'd be dead before you even saw him. So knock that idea out of your head. Are you sure about that, Thor? Because uh, if you remember correctly, and you remember me, and you know I single-handedly took down Gomez. This little group, you know, that. is a little compared to that. Those are all just rumors. Don't you remember me from the old camp? You no were one of the prisoners. That. Maybe you were one of my guards. And? Does that make us allies now? No, well, it doesn't. True. Maybe you're the guy who brought down the barrier. Maybe you also killed my pals. So what? Those times are over. Come on, man. Come on, let me in. For old time's sake. Let me explain something to you. Do you know why I'm still alive? Because I've always been loyal to my people. I don't have to agree with everything Raven does. But I'll stick to the rules. And so will you. He thinks it's as easy as that. That's totally hey, obvious. what's with your armor? Where can I get armor like that? I used to say that myself. You can't. This armor is reserved for Raven's Guard. You know I, I hardly think there's an entrance exam for new candidates. But the ultimate decision isn't mine, it's Raven's. I wouldn't have done that. I have a stone tablet for you here. You don't have the right stone. Only the red ones are important. I have a redstone tablet here. Okay. Those are all just rumors. You killed Esteban. So you will do his job that now. They later. have a few problems with mine crawlers in the mine. Three diggers have bought it already. It's your job to provide Same replacements. Thing, and when can I finally get into the damned mine? Totally do your job. Afterwards you can do what you want. That will never change. Fine. Nothing's ever gonna change that. I couldn't get away with that. Those are all just rumors. That's no secret. Hey, you! Just checking if there are other options to send it to the mine. Been there, done that. You're needed in the mine. You really do have a red stone for me. Excellent. Now I'll work that damn rock to crumbs. I already know exactly where I'll go. One more thing. If you go mine and watch out that you don't strike too hard, otherwise your pickaxe will get wedged in the gold. Right, let me see if I can get Lucia into the mine. I doubt it. Wait a minute. The only extra option is, uh, uh what was his name again? Logan. Well, I killed him. You're needed in the mine. So now you're the boss here. Okay, then I'll get going. You're needed in the mine. Sure thing, boss. You want to see the best in the mine? Then I'll get back to it. Oh, uh, something else. I'll let you in on a digger's secret. 
Now and then it's a good idea to give it a really good whack. If you've hacked a couple of times and nothing has come out, then drag the point of the pick sideways across the rock. With a little luck, you'll get several chunks at once that way. Wait a minute. All right, so let's quickly go to um to Juan and kick his ass. Well, I will pay for the uh, goods and let them live for now. And then uh, I will later come back to kill him. Because I can. So that I've done that option as well. And then we pay, and then uh, basically we will be done with this particular part. And then I think we need one more part in order to beat Jarkanar and uh, thus receive the Claw Barrier. But I'm not 100% sure about that. 99.9. .9. So it's close to 100. a couple of golems around here which are uh, quite my nemesis let me switch armor circle three but I did find a heavy fish fit the gold pieces Uh, medium or heavy whatever um, but it's, it's kind of wasting about 2800 gold 2800 you know something like that so I'm not gonna do that besides bandits armor are relatively insignificant and this guy really don't need it at the moment so it would be a waste of gold they say you have some interesting wares to offer so what Esteban wants to jerk me around, eh? I do all the work and hide away here for days in this miserable hole, and he just sends someone to fetch the stuff? I'm not a warehouse. Yeah, and that isn't my problem. But I'm making it your problem. You want the delivery? Fine. You can pay for it. 
Get the gold from Esteban or Raven or I don't know where. I don't care. Whoever wants these goods will pay for them. Show me what you have. It's a uh, expensive purchase, but I most definitely need, you know, pay for it. And now I'm gonna kill him. I don't come from Esteban. Oh? Well then. Hey, just a moment. Hold still for a second. You have a critter on your shoulder. Aww, oh, now I go back. Well, that's a shame. But that option is done as well. Paying for it. The only reason why I kill him afterwards, you know, is for the, uh, one of the pirates. Which is quest related to kick his ass. So, I kicked his ass. And now he's dead. So there's one more thing I will do, which is, uh, well, actually two things. Delivering the lockpicks and the steel, and activate the teleporter stone to talk with the water mages. And uh, that's where we pretty much will end this particular part, and then we'll go to the final part. At least I think it will be the final part where we will uh, get the claw and thus beat Jarkandar. Still six levels away from level 48, but you know, that's all fine. Whether I am 48 or not, as soon as I get him, I will activate it. Steal to who knew. He thinks it's as easy as that. I have the steel. And was Juan there too? He was. I knew it. That rat Esteban was behind it. You're all right. To be honest, I hadn't expected this from you. Here, take this as a reward. To feel sorry for no fish. Nobody wants to know. Those are all just rumors. I have your package. Indeed. What about Juan? Exactly He's dead. Good. Then he can't cause me any more trouble. As far as you are concerned, I have a pretty good relationship with Huno. I'll see to it that you get your armor cheap from now on. And here, I once got this stone from Caristo. It's the only thing that survived my flight from the barrier. I think you'll have more use for it than I do. One hand washes the other. That hasn't changed since back then. He is recognizing that I'm a mage. Interesting. I couldn't Didn't that. know that one either. Who said that? Very interesting indeed. Things I could tell you. Better watch out. Hey! Things would have turned out different. I sent out three guys. All right. Then as far as I'm concerned, you can go in. Thank you. I'm staying out. Halt! Get out of my way, guard. All right, you can pass. Indeed. Let me instantly get a couple of us uh, keys of a shot. Those are just rumors. Hey. Hey! Why haven't I heard about this before? Let's deal. He thinks it's as easy as that. That's exactly what I said. I got one, so let's say... That was no big deal. Four. 
Those are all just four nuns. Ones. Should do the trick. You don't have to tell me that. You don't have to ask me that. The things I could tell. Hey, you. You should have known. That. About the relics. What about this? That looks Been good. There, Where'd you find there. that? The bandits use these stone tablets as a sort of currency. The tablets bear the sign of Korhodran, a great warrior. He is the commander whose son Radimus caused the downfall of the entire city. I'll bet the bandits don't even know what it is they are trading there. Here is some gold as a reward. Now we have collected all the relics we need. You have done us a great service. I thank you. This will bring us a crucial step forward in our studies. You're very welcome, my friend. May Adonos protect you. Anything's possible. And that's the truth. Murdarian, I need Murdarian, where are you? Murdarian is bug. Riordian. Sacrus. I've activated another one of the teleporter stones. You have done really well. I can only congratulate you on your work. They're all working again now. An impressive sight, don't you think? Here are a few gold coins. Gold, gold, nothing but gold. All right. So I'm gonna thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you guys like what you see, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on whenever I episode, episode or part has been uploaded, any video whatsoever, and uh, so that you can watch them and uh, enjoy them basically, you know. And uh, if you do like what you see, you know, leave behind a thumbs up. And if you have any kind of, um, you know, let's say feedback, anything is welcome. So make sure to let them know in the comment section down below. And then uh, I hope to see you guys in the final part of Jarkandar. At least I think it's going to be the final part where we will uh, complete Jarkandar. And uh, thus the dragon hunt can finally begin. And thus one more step closer to a uh, completing Gothic 2 on its final path, aside from the uh, hardcore run. So I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.